Sometimes I just feel like a uh, jellyfish. It's floating through life. Current dragging you off wherever it wants to. Never fully alive. Or fast enough to catch anything living. I mean, jellyfish live for like a hundred years. A hundred years of reaching out and only pulling in corpses. A million arms and no one to hold them with. Just a floating plastic bag of hollow guilt. You know what I mean? Aiden didn't care to hear what I had to say. I know that. But I wanted to talk anyway. It's the problem with most people. They can't see past themselves. They don't care because they don't understand. And they don't want to understand. People have always been my problem. At least ever since my first girlfriend, freshman year of high school. If she was a sea creature, she would be an anglerfish because she tempted me with her affection when really she just wanted something to sink her teeth into. She would come over almost every day and had such a distinct smell, kind of ashy, but I liked it. Almost like cigarettes, but that can't be it because she told me she didn't smoke. We understood each other on such a deeper level than anyone else. I seriously would have died for her. Those two weeks were the happiest part of my life hate her for ruining it. That's why I couldn't show up to school after our relationship ended. I couldn't risk seeing her face after the pain she caused me. So I don't go to school anymore. But it's fine, I hated everyone there anyway. Ever since her, I just feel so... If my mom was a sea creature, she would easily be a shark. But not a nursing shark, or any of the nice ones. She's a bull shark. You know, the one that eats the license plates and stuff? She plays mind games with me because she enjoys my torment. For example, she knows for a fact that my favorite soda is Mountain Dew Code Red. It's like she feeds off my pain. I think that's why she made me get this job after I left school. She just hates seeing my face in her territory. Joke's on her, though. Because this punishment of a job led me to something unexpected. I saw her and knew she wasn't like everyone else. It's like she made me excited to be uncomfortable. She was so graceful and elegant. If she was a sea creature, she would easily be. Oh my god. Our first interaction did not go well. Hi, can I get a medium popcorn? After I composed myself, I decided to use a tactic that the anglerfish failed to use with me. Clear and articulate communication. I hate popcorn. I hate my mom. My last relationship ended four years ago and I've been wrestling with that heartbreak ever since. Do you want to go to the beach? Okay. Tell me more about this heartbreak of yours. I don't really want to talk about it. No, that's totally fine. It was probably the longest, most committed two-week relationship of my life. It's probably the only time in my life where I will feel like my complete self. Without it, I just feel numb. Like nothing matters. Yeah, um... I kind of felt that way too after my dad died. Right. It's, so you know how I feel. It's kind of the same thing. Stuck drying up in the hot sun when it should be in the water with all the other jellyfish. And if anyone did come by and try and help it, they just get stuck. That's so sad. She's perfect. Maybe a jellyfish doesn't have to live in isolation. 
I have plenty of important people in my life, for better or worse. My mom, people I work with, my ex, and now her. That's like eight different people. Maybe I'm not a jellyfish at all. I'm like some sort of octofish. Yeah. The ocean's a big place. People are awful, but maybe the many shouldn't ruin it for the few. Maybe things won't be so bad after all.